Hi guys, how's it going? So we all know Mudrick. He joined Chelsea last year in January, but his career has not been as exciting as we expected it to be after Chelsea bought him for a whopping 89 million pounds. Here comes the money! Here we go! Money talks! A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. Today, we are going to manage his career over the next five years and see how it goes. I'm going to do a manager career mode instead of a player career. So the first thing is to sign for Chelsea. I made sure to assign the best coaches to him so he develops well. Next up, we are going to put him in a development plan and he'll play as a wide winger. Before his first season, let's take a look at the team he'll be playing with. Brought in Osimen. He's the only change in the squad. And we are done with the first season. Look at that. Chelsea won the PL. Unfortunately, they were knocked out in the third round of the FA Cup by Newcastle. They managed to win the Carabao Cup. So Mudrick already has two trophies to his name in the first season. Let's see his individual stats. Bro had a very bad season, but at least his rating went up by three. On to the next season, 24-25. We make a few changes and bring in Rodrigo, Udoji, and Locatelli. This is a strong squad. Fast forward to November, of course, Mudrik didn't win the Ballon d'Or after the season he had. But Osimhen got to win it. The 24-25 season is done and Chelsea wins the PL back-to-back. -back. They also won the Community Shield. Mudrik and his team got eliminated in the fifth round after losing to Nottingham. They also got lost to Liverpool in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup. Bro, how embarrassing. They got knocked out of the UCL in just the group stages. Sadly, they were defeated by Barca in the semis of the Europa. In other news, Mudrik had a good season scoring 14 goals in all comps and assisting just twice in over 50 games. Not too bad. He also gained two points in his overall rating. Bro, what's this? Posh got fired. For winning the PL back-to-back? -back? Anyway, no other club wants him, so he signs for Luton Town. A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager. Of course, his first purchase will be the star of the show. Poor club can't afford Mudrick. We just have to sell some players and we'll be back. We are ready to go again. And here we go, Mudrick to Luton. Bro's career is going down bad. This is the team he'll be playing with. How embarrassing. Ballon d'Or winner announced for the year. And it's Osimhen again. Fast forward to the end of the 25-26 season, and sadly, Pach got Luton relegated. They suffered a 3-0 defeat to Chelsea in the sixth round of the FA Cup. Luton was also eliminated in the Carabao Cup in the third round. As for Mudrik, he doesn't look too happy. Anyway, he had a very mid-season scoring nine times and bagging six assists in 36 games. He gained one point in his overall rating. Luckily, Pochettino signs for West Ham, so Mudrik avoids the championship. A warm welcome to you all. Without further delay, we are pleased to introduce your new manager.
This is the team he'll be going into the 26-27 season with. Not bad at all. Quite a decent club. Fast forward to late October and, of course, Mudrick was not nominated for the Ballon d'Or. Why would he? He was playing for Luton. 26-27 is now done. West Ham managed a top four finish. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Ah! They lost to Newport on penalties in the third round of the FA Cup and also got eliminated in the third round of the EFL by Spurs. They managed to reach the round of 16 in the Conference League but were eliminated by this club I don't know. As for his individual stats, Bro had a very poor season. He didn't even gain a single point in his overall rating. Safe to say the move to West Ham wasn't his best option. 28-29 season, and he's still at West Ham. This is the squad he'll be playing alongside. Of course, Bro was not in the Ballon d'Or nominations. End of the season, and West Ham didn't qualify for the CL this time as they finished sixth. They were also knocked out of both the FA and Carabao. They suffered a narrow defeat in the round of 16 of the CL against Juve. How did he do this season? He managed to find the back of the net 11 Tims and assisted twice. He also gained one point in his overall rating. Not a bad season for him. For this episode, he's won four cups, all at Chelsea. Should I do part two? Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe.